Hi and welcome to this video and in this video I'm going to be setting up an RX to Sim game controller. I'm doing this on a Windows machine but what I'm showing you is how to do it if it were Windows or Mac. So normally on a Windows machine you would do a calibration of the controller and actually it, that would fix a lot of the problems that we're going to see but on Mac you don't have Windows calibration and so you have to fix those problems in the Sim. So I'm going to show you how you do that uh, if you were using a Mac. If you were using Windows you'd run a Windows calibration and you wouldn't hit some of these problems but on a Mac you will um, and therefore we need to show how you would sort that out. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and assign my throttle channel. So the RX to Sim has been detected and I'm going to click this button here to assign throttle and what should happen is it won't detect it. So I'm just going to put my throttle in the middle because that's what it's going to tell me to do. So it's a DX7 I'm working with to an RX to Sim with an RX bound to it. So my throttle's in the middle. Click this button. It says zero your sticks, which I've done. So my throttle's in the middle. Then it says, okay, now move the throttle. And I'm moving my throttle, and nothing's happening. So what's going on? Well, if we go into calibrate we can find the throttle channel and I think it's up here on axis 10 I think is it 11? no, I have to find it again it's not 0, it's not 1, it's not 2 oh there you go, it's 3 in this instance axis 3, ok so full throw is there and full down is there on my throttle now the range of the of the axis is all the way out to this minus one and all the way out to this one so I've got virtually no throw on here by default on the RX to sim it just doesn't throw very far and that's what we actually need to fix so if I put my throttle right in the middle again I can click this calibrate function so it says put it in the middle which I've already done and then it says to move it through its entire range so we've moved it all the way up and all the way down and now you can see that the orange arrow is showing me the input from the RX to Sim and the white arrow is showing the output to Velocidrone and this is the full throw that we should be getting on the stick now as you can see as I'm moving it I'm getting a full throw so now that I've calibrated that I can go back here and click this throttle put my stick in the middle which I've done and it says move it and there we go I've now got a throttle assigned and you can see on the quad over here full throttle, props are going close the throttle, props are stopped so that's now set up so let's now do roll now I already earlier today did a calibration on roll so let me just try and find where roll it, oh there's roll so you can see roll I've already done I've got a full throw on the white arrow already so I should be able to just assign that one. So we'll click here, it says put it in the middle, which you've already done. And then move it to assign it. And you can see we've now moving. Now I'm holding right here and the quad's going left, so we need to click this button here. Now I'm holding right, holding left, and you can see this quad over here is moving correctly. Right, left, full throttle, no throttle. So let's try pitch. So we click pitch, it says put it in the middle, it already is. Move the stick to assign it, I'm moving it, nothing doing. So we need to calibrate pitch, so I need to find my pitch stick in here. So if I put pitch all the way up, there we go, it's that one, it's axis 1. So again you can see the throw is really low, so we click calibrate, it says put it in the middle, already is then move it to full throws so all the way up and all the way down done that and now you can see I've got full throw on the white arrow so that's good I can click here on the pitch it says put it in the middle it already is give it full throw and there we go I've now got pitch assigned so let's try your it's already in the middle then move it and nothing's happening again so we go to calibrate let's find the your axis 
There we go, there's your on axis two. And it could be, it may not be on your RX to sim in the same places. On the Mac, I think my throttle was on axis 10, and uh, your was on 11 or something like that. So they, they could be anywhere. Um, but on Windows, they, they're in the low numbers. So we're on axis two, and we can see that full throw, again, is really not very large. So we click calibrate put the stick in the middle, move the stick through its full range, so full left, full right on the yaw, and now we can see we've got full throw on the white arrow, so we're good, we can click done, click the yaw button, it says put yaw in the middle, it already is, move it to a sign, now that's left yaw, so that's wrong, so I need to click this button, there we go, so that's correct, so right yaw, left yaw, full throttle, low throttle, roll right, roll left, pitch forward, pitch back. So we're now set up, and I can select a track here, pylons, Ready to race. There we go. We have okay, and that's how you set up the RX to Sim on Velostro. It requires a little bit of work to get it going, but once you've done that and you've calibrated it all, then uh, everything's fine. I'm just going to turn these quads off so I can carry on talking without listening to them. Yeah, so if we go back in here and just recap, you need to use the calibrate function to calibrate the axes to get rid of those low throws so that your sticks will be detected. You need to press on these buttons here in order to assign your controls and then for some of them you may need to reverse them. And as I say, when you go in the calibrate function here, you just need to hold a stick over like this. So if you're trying to find pitch, just give it full pitch and then just click through until you see the one that offsets. So you can just click through here to try and find it. You can see that that one's offset anyway. RX to sim is a, it's a bit weird, it has to be said. But there's my pitch channel. I can see it by moving the stick around. So just find your channels in here and then calibrate them and then everything will be fine. Okay, that's it. See you on the next video.